There are so many ways that science can benefit humankind. There are so many uh, horizons of science that I so enthusiastically welcome in my future. Uh, among them are, of course, medical advances that make it possible for people not to lose this great precious gift we have, the human mind. Uh, this vessel that we carry our soul, our mind, our hearts, our aspirations around in could probably use a little help too. By the same token, it's wonderful to imagine other worlds that are possible to explore. Um, I think the more people, people and creatures, people and, dare I say it, aliens, uh, if they were able somehow to connect and understand more about each other, uh, history has told us that uh, knowledge and community are, are very valuable, very valuable uh, and, and species preserving instincts and activities. Um, it, it's funny, I, I almost laugh when I want to talk about aliens, but I think that's the way my grandmother felt when in high school she was asked by her teacher, born in 1885, mind you, uh, to imagine a wondrous future. And she said, I imagine a time when horseless carriages will fly through the sky. And that teacher, the enemy of science, uh, made her sit in a corner with a dunce cap on. And I always wondered what the look on his face must have been like when he read a newspaper and saw that the Wright brothers flew at Kitty Hawk. I always thought that she'd be vindicated. So see, I come from a family of geeks who are proud of their ability to foresee the future. And one of the reasons I love doing Futurescape is that uh, I will be a part of this investigation into the cutting edge of science and uh, in my own small way as an entertainer and as a science buff, uh, I'm going to be able to see future ideas, even if it involves aliens, <laughs> that people might laugh at the way they did at my beloved grandmother who imagined man flying through the sky in horses' carriages. And the dunce in that case was the teacher who didn't want to believe the future held possibilities that were beyond the human imagination.